Alright, I tried to make this video on a normal camera and it turned out all blurry because I don't know how to use the focus. So, um, one of the many pests down here uh, is the brown dog tick. And like most of my videos, I only talk about these pests when I'm having an issue with them. And um, I guess I've pretty much had every issue you can think of. South Florida arthropods, they're not getting any more pleasant. So, um, this morning I found a fully engorged brown dog tick crawling up my wall. And I realized I should have made this video when it was crawling up my wall so you could see what that looks like. Um, but my first thought was to, you know, get rid of it. So, I looked directly below the, the tick that was crawling on the wall and there was Hallie's dog bed and Sure enough, there were several engorged brown dog ticks, as well as uh, quite a few nymphs. And um, I was kind of surprised because she's on front line, and I got her a tick collar, and um, I had been finding not engorged ticks on her face for a while now. And ticks like to go towards the face. They can't get pulled off quite so easily, and it's more moist. It's near the ears and the eyes, and that's where a lot of moisture collects. So. I tend to like those areas. So I had been pulling those off, so I knew that the ticks were around, but I had not seen an engorged one yet, and I was kind of hoping that um, the front line was killing them. Unfortunately, brown dog ticks can breed fully indoors and complete their life cycle indoors, in your home, apartment, wherever. If they have somewhere that they can hide and a blood source that they can feed on, they can breed in your home. So. Um, instead of bothering to spray that area again, I just threw out the dog bed. I, there was no point in trying to save that thing. So, threw that out, uh, came back in, I taped up with saran wrap my snake tanks, um, and fish tanks, and if you have to ever do this at home, um, make sure that you turn off the filter and air pump, um, for your fish tank. You don't want outside air that's possibly got pesticide in it being pumped into your fish tank. It makes it's common sense, but you know. Anyway, I uh, sprayed her normal sleeping areas. Um, then we went outside for a while. So uh, I used this stuff right here, Nygard Plus. It's it's basically got um, it's got permethrin in it, which is a very common um, pesticide. Um, they use a lot of synthetic pesticides for, for permethrin, but um, they don't stay in the atmosphere for too long. Like They, they kind of dissipate really quickly, um, and they kill things really you know, well. So, um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's one of the, the ticks that, some of the ticks that I pulled off her, and then this big one right here in the corner is the one that was engorged on the wall. I mean, that's kind of a big spread there. Um, that's my thumb right there, so... Uh, yeah. Engorged are fairly easy to spot. Um, so, the other things that you really need to worry about when it comes to brown dog ticks is... Um, you don't have to worry about it so much in South Florida, but when it comes to North Florida and um, other areas, uh, they can carry Lyme disease, and that is, is um, pretty serious, and you need to really uh, check yourself over and make sure you don't have these ticks on you, um, pull them out correctly, pull them out by the head and don't squeeze them. Um, you don't want them to regurgitate the blood that they just sucked up from you um, with, uh, this, you know, with the Lyme disease in it back into your body. So. Um, that's something you need to be careful of. Um, you don't have as much of a problem with it down here, like I said. Uh, but ticks are, they're a nuisance, and you don't want them on you. You don't want them on your dog. You don't want them breeding in your house. Uh, I feel like they're not quite as bad as fleas, because I had a pretty bad flea infestation when I lived in um, Gainesville. But um, you don't really want them crawling up your curtains and up your walls, it's just kind of gross. They're just full of blood and 
they bite. So uh, we had a particularly warm winter and they didn't quite all die off so now we have a uh, summer that's just been full of them and um, you might have this problem as well. Um, wish you luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs>